Joke 1. The parish priest needs his house painted, so he offers the job to one of his altar boys. The first day the kid paints the entire inside of the house, he's sweating like hell but eventually gets it finished. The priest commends him on the work and with a flourish hands him a five pounds note. The boy looks at the money and says to the priest, Thanks very much, Father. You're a virgin. The priest is a bit startled but makes no remark. The next day the boy has to paint the outside of the house. It's a really hot day and he just manages to finish the job without collapsing. The priest looks at the job and this time gives the lad another five pounds note. Once again, a lad looks at the money and says, Thanks very much, Father. You really are a virgin. At this stage, the priest decides to take action. Tommy, he says, that's twice you called me a virgin. Do you have any idea what the word means? Yes, says the kid, a tight cunt. <laughs> Joke 2. An old man decides he wants to meet his grandson before he dies. He lives in the wilderness like a hermit, so he hardly ever meets anyone. So he invites his young grandson over to mark one item off his bucket list. His grandson arrives and notices his grandfather is scared all over and missing some of his limbs, most noticeably one of his hands. How did you lose your hand? A lion bit it off during one of my hunting trips. Speaking of that, I was an avid hunter and have an impressive trophy room, let me show you. The grandfather leads his grandson to his trophy room. It is filled with large animal heads mounted on the walls. The boy is in awe of all the different animals. There are lots of stories to tell with some of these. Several even attacked me before I managed to kill them. This leopard here, its name is Eerie. I named it that because it bit off my ear. I generally like to name them after something they took from me so I remember our encounter better. As the boy looks around from animal to animal, he starts to ask about the stories behind them. What about that great big crocodile? Does that one have a story? Yes, it took several of my toes, so I named it Toto. What about this tiger? It took my eye, so it is named Iris. Then the boy's eyes are caught by an enormous lion, the most majestic trophy of them all. That must be the lion that took your hand. Did you name it Hans? Good guess, but no, I named it Hancock. <laughs> Joke 3. During mass, an elderly woman said into her husband's ear, I've just had a quiet fart, act like it's nothing. Her husband replied, I'm not going to do anything now, but in the end we're going to buy new batteries for your hearing aid. <laughs> if you liked this video, put a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss other jokes.